What's up guys? So, I have not vlogged in quite a while. I think it's been like two weeks something since the last vlog, so I do apologise, but I've just got so busy with things and yeah, I've been having to... Yeah, so that's why I didn't vlog, so yeah, but I'll tr I'm going to try and vlog again because I really like vlogging, like I love to like vlog up my day, even though my days are quite kind of like busy now. Like it was easy during the summer because I was like going out to places and things, but yeah, that's what I'm going to try to do. So yeah, the vlogs might be a bit boring and a bit like, I don't know, funny-ish, but I'll just have to do or else uh, my vlog channel is going to be laying quite empty for a while, but today I'm going for my second um, coronavirus vaccine. So Yes, yeah, so we had my first one. I think it was around about June-ish, I think. Yeah, I think it was because I remember I vlogged the first time. So I'm going to vlog the second time I get a jab. So I am really excited. I don't know, though. Like, at the last time I had my first jab, it went kind of like... It went all right. Like, it was actually really quick. So I, I literally walked in and waited in, like, the waiting room bit. And then as soon as I got to the jabbing person, wow, that sounds so bad, the jabbing person. No, as soon as I got to the person who was administering this jab, it was literally just one, like, a few seconds. So she literally just put the jab in, and then I literally just, like, kind of just left after that. So it's quite a quick process. So, yeah, so hopefully the second one doesn't um, have any hitches and things, but... And yeah, also, like, when I had my first one, like, I didn't have any kind of side effects. Like, I had, like, a sore arm, but, like, where the jab was, like, I had kind of, like, a sore shoulder, but nothing really that um, significant. So, hopefully, touch wood, okay, where's the word? There's, like, no word, I don't know. Touch wood that my second one won't bring as much, won't bring, well, words I had. But touch wood that my second jab doesn't bring as much problems, so... I'm very excited to get the vaccine. Well, that's never a sentence I've never thought I'd say. I'm excited to get my vaccine. Like, what the hell? Anyway, so that doesn't happen until like 5 pm because I have it booked for 5 pm and it's 17 minutes past 4 now, so I might have to make a move soon. But yeah, I don't know why I'm talking so much, guys. It's been a while since I've vlogged, so I kind of want to just chat to you guys and. Yes, it's been quite a while, so yeah, anyways, I'm just gonna um, stop um, gabbing now and just um, do things. Right, so I'm here now, so I'm on my way now to um, go for the second coronavirus vaccine, so that's my favorite right now. So I'm in a rush right now because I'm kind of running late, so I'm having to rush a little bit, so that's me right now. But luckily, I'm near where I'm supposed to have the vaccine now, so that's good, so I'm heading, get the vaccine. Okay, so I'm in the vaccine waiting room thing here now, so yeah, so I'm just waiting here now to get the vaccine. So. Right, so I've just had the vaccine now, so I'm just waiting in the like, waiting room bit now for like 15 minutes, so it didn't seem like a lot of and open, so he literally, he literally just left me like he... Oh yeah, please. Okay, right, so I take what I said back because as soon as I said that I wasn't given a plaster for my bleeding arm, like literally somebody came with this like cotton wool thing, so I think it must have heard what I said because like you literally as soon as I said it, like literally like came rushing with like a cotton wool thing, so that's good, so yes. But um yeah, I just need to wait now for another five minutes or so and yes, I'm in the toilet right now because I need to go to the toilet so Classic. Right, so I've just came out of the vaccine place right now, and that was honestly um, bad. I'll tell you guys when I get home, but it was honestly like, the worst experience ever, so I'm just gonna wash my hands, so. And yes, I'm in Tesco right now because I feel like going for a vaccine is worthy of a good old wander around Tesco, so that's where I'm off right now. Okay, Tesco, like, come through with all this office stuff, like, what the actual hell, like, he sells so much good office stuff, like we have these cardboard pencil things which look good, these copper things and plants and things, like, hello, like, Tesco, like, come through with all your office stuff. I honestly don't know why I decided to come to Tesco, like, it's not like I need anything, like, you know when you just like, want to go to, like, the big Tesco or the big Asda and things just for the vibes? 
I feel like that's what's happening right now. Like, I'm literally just, like, wandering around Tesco, like, I don't think I'll end up buying anything. Like, I'm literally just here for, like, the vibes and stuff, so... Yeah, but it's also such good homeware, though. Like, I literally looked at the homeware stuff and, like, oh my god, like, Tesco is, like, really it right now. Like, all the homeware, like... What's up, guys? It's the next day now, and I literally feel like I've been hit by a bus, so... Basically, obviously, I got vaccinated yesterday, which I tried to vlog, so I do apologise if the vlog was kind of chaotic and just, I don't know, a mess, but I was trying to be as discreet as possible in the vaccination room because there was like a bunch of, like, people sitting next to me and things, so it would have been kind of embarrassing to whip up my camera and be like, oh, I'm getting vaccinated, so I do apologise if that's um, chaotic, but... So I didn't vlog the rest of last night, I just chilled and things, but... Oh my god, like, I literally feel like I've been hit by bus right now, so I have currently, well, <laughs> oh my god, that was so disgusting, and I'm not editing out, so sorry, not sorry. But basically, my arm is very um, unusable, like, my arm doesn't feel like an arm right now, like, my arm literally aches every time I try and lift it, and so, yeah, then I've also been having kind of like high temperature as well, and things, so this vaccine is hitting me really hard, because when I, when I had my first vaccine back in like june I think it was, it didn't feel half of what it felt like now, like, I think I only had like a sore arm, and that's probably about it, like, I was... Um, good to go and things, but boy, this second vaccine, oh my god, like, I thought the second one would, like, not be as bad, like, just be the same as, like, the first one, so I was expecting to have, like, a sore arm and things, but when I woke up this morning, like, I literally had chills and things, like, I was literally, like, lay, like, with the quilt covers and things, like, little tiny cocoon, like, it was so terrible, but anyways, yeah, and yes, my, arm, my right arm is aching right now, so I'm having to put the camera down, but... Yeah, that's what kind of happened. So this arm is not being an arm right now. So yeah, um, I'm not going to do anything today. I'm just going to chill and try and get rid of this vaccine after effect thing. So I just had coffee with my TikTok mug, which I got from Blackpool. And then I had a glass of water and things. So I'm just going to continue to drink those things and just hopefully the illness from the vaccine will... Um, hopefully leave soon, so, yeah. But anyway, so, I'm gonna stop talking now, and... Oh, by the way, the vaccine experience last night, like, I went to the vaccination thing, and I'm gonna be quite honest with you guys, like, it was honestly terrible, like, this person, like, who was vaccinating me, like, but before that, I had to say rude, like, vaccination person, like, who was, like, telling us where to sit and things, like, he was literally the rudest, like, person I've probably ever met. And then also, when I went to the vaccination pod to vaccinate myself, the vaccination person was honestly rude too, like, she literally just was rolling her eyes at me and kind of just extremely rude. And so, yeah, that's what kind of went down today. And also, like, when I walked out, like, she wouldn't even give me, like, a plaster because she vaccinated the arm. Then, like, he was obviously bleeding, like, a little bit. Like, not much, but, like, a little bit of blood, like, came out, like, a drip of blood. And she never even bothered to put a plaster on me. Like, she literally just sent me on on my way and just, like, told me to wait at this, like, waiting room thing for, like, 15 minutes, which he's supposed to do. Because I think he's supposed to wait, for, like, 15 minutes. I think it's in case, like, you have an allergic reaction to the vaccine or something like that. So... It's like the nurse is working, like kind of just curfew and things, so that's what I did. And I remember vlogging that, like I literally like vlogged in the waiting room bit, being like, the nurse never even put a plaster on me. Like she didn't even like put a plaster on me. So I think the people who was in the waiting room with me, like the nurses and stuff, like I think she must have heard what I was saying on vlog because as soon as I said that, she literally came rushing and was like, "Do you want a plaster on that?" And I was like, "Please." So. Yeah, so I think she must have heard what I said on camera, so she came and did that, so she was actually really nice, like, I think she was, like, literally the only nice person in there, like, the rest of the people in there just looked like they didn't want to be there and just was extremely rude, and so, yeah, that's my vaccine experience here, so, anyways, I'm gonna stop waffling on now about vaccines and things and um, trying my best to 
get things done even though this um, could not be used. Come on. Alright, so I've just managed to make a video now. So I'm actually being a lot better like than this morning. Like this morning I was literally like bed bound with side effects. But to be honest, I actually feel much more, I don't know, better. So I got what I hoped. So I think it is just like a one day kind of thing. Like, I don't know. So yeah, but anyways, I'm going to... Um, have some food now. Alright guys, so obviously I know you can't see it because um, I'm in a really dark room right now because it's still daytime but I feel a lot more better right now because obviously this morning I was, I looked like I'd been wrecked by a train or something but I feel a lot more better now so that's good but you guys like, okay so the UK's been having like a heat wave thing for like two days now, yesterday and the day before I think and also Monday as well but now, like, it's literally, like, thundering and lightning, like, there's, like, heavy rain, like, literally, like, pouring down right now, and I literally heard the most incredible thunder, like, it was so loud, and also, I, I seen this, like, and also, and then also, like, lights were flashing in the room as well, like, the lightning, so, this thunderstorm is actually really good. Like, you see over there, like, it's really, like, sounds rain right now, and... I, every like couple minutes or so, like there'll be a huge, massive thunderstorm. So yeah. What's up, guys? So I didn't actually finish this vlog properly. So I didn't properly sort of outro it or do anything other than that one video with the thunderstorm. So I'm gonna end this vlog here now, guys. Hope you guys liked watching this boring little vlog. Um, it was quite boring and things, but. At least I got my second dose, so I feel a lot more better now, to be honest. Like, it's literally Saturday right now, and I have a vaccine on the 8th. And so I feel a lot more better now, and a lot more energetic and things, so that's good. But anyways, hope you guys are having the greatest day of your lives, and I'll see you guys in another vlog or video, or God knows, wherever you're seeing me. I'll get back.